Now, creating your campaign. So now that you've built everything on the back end, it's time to get your campaign started. And if you did everything correctly, you're pretty much done and setting up your campaign should be very easy. So let's create a new campaign. So in here, as you see, uh, when creating a new campaign, you can give it a name uh, and basically you're doing a search. Now you also see that you can upload a CSV. If you want to upload a CSV for contacts that you already have, uh, and basically what Robo Contact will do is just go through that same process of filling out their contact forms and also sending those emails. Uh, you can click here to download the sample CSV file and then you can upload it into the system, but we're not doing that right now. Basically, we're setting up a campaign from scratch and this is how it's going to look. So you select your location. And again, remember, I told you that if you do not set up a Google API key, this will not work. And this is where you're going to see the error. If this does not, if you didn't put the Google API key in, you will not be able to put your location. You'll get an error message. But since I have it in here, this location came up just fine. Now I want to target roofing, the word keyword roofing or roofers. So basically RoboContact is going to give me all companies uh, that are in roofing or roofer and give me a list of all of the potential leads that are available. Now, because we set up the email message messages um, back in one of our previous steps, you could just go in here and select the websites for roofers. And then your contact message that we already created, you go in here and you can select the local roofer contact message. And then you're also your profile group, or you can select the individual profile that you want to be used to complete those contact us forms. Uh, and then remember we did the email filters. So because we added edu and gov, once you turn this on, they're available here. Now you can add more here, or you can take these off, or you can just turn this off, depending on what you want to do. Now, when to scrape the data? Uh, do you want the data scraped while running the search, or do you want the data scraped while processing the campaign? Now, how RoboContact works is once you start this, this campaign, it's going to do your search first. Now, you have the option of, do you want that data scraped during the search? And then, if, if not, you have the option to scrape it during the campaign process. So you'll be given the option to process the campaign after the search is complete. So how to find email. So you have the option, three options here. You can scrape email from the websites. So it's going to scrape all the emails that it finds on a particular website. You can get the email from uh, hunter.io. So it's going to go to the website or check that company's, that business's uh, email address information through hunter.io and return to you what hunter.io has already validated. Or you can scrape the email from the website and get the email address from Hunter. So. In this campaign, I'm going to do this. I want the email address from the website, and I also want the ones that Hunter found that are validated. Next, how to contact these leads. So you can send an email and fill out the contact form. So you can start your you can start your email campaign, and you can fill out the contact form based on the information you put here. You can email when the contact form is not submitted. So if it doesn't, if RoboContact does not find a contact form, you could then say, okay, uh, 
if you don't find a contact form, then start the email campaign. You can send an email only uh, and do not fill out the contact us form. So you can start the email campaign and don't worry about the contact us form. You can submit a contact form only. So maybe you just want to fill out the contact forms without sending your emails because you want to do that later. This is the option you want to select for that. So in conjunction with selecting one of these, you can also check this box. Only send emails to verify email addresses. So only verify email addresses that hunter.io uh, has on file. You can select this option if you're selecting one of the email options here. So additional options. You can, if you've integrated your Zapier account, you can send this information to Zapier. Uh, you can run immediately after the search, meaning if you want to run the actual uh, campaign where the emails go out and the contact forms are filled out uh, after the search is complete, you select this option. Now, if you don't select any of these options here, basically when you hit search, it's just going to do the search only. It's not going to fill out contact forms. It's not going to send emails. The next thing you can uh, remove the uh, can spam full address, which was set up in your profile. And you can remove the um, unsubscribe link that's put at the bottom of all your emails. Uh, this is set up by default to put the unsubscribe link on your emails. Uh, if you want that removed, you can select this. So for this campaign here, uh, I didn't select any of these options here. And now if you hit search, you'll notice that your campaign is processing. So again, I want to reiterate that uh, unless you select it to run immediately after search, all it's doing right now is gathering the data for you. So what you have here is the information that was found uh, for this campaign that we ran. So based on this campaign and what we searched out, here's the information that was found for all of the businesses in Dallas and the information that it found on those sites. So as you see, it has the business name, business address, their website, their phone number, an email contact, what social links that it found. So these are actual links to their social profiles. And then uh, if it found a contact us um, form on, on their website. So you can do whatever you want with this data. You can uh, export it to CSV or you can go ahead and run through your process. Now, if you click process, this is where the contact forms will be filled out and the email campaign will be started. Or you can select one of the uh, company's businesses that it found and just process that one. So for example, as a um, web developer, I noticed that this site doesn't have any social media information. Um, so I just want to market to this site to tell them, hey, uh, you have a website, but you don't have any social media information on your website. Let me help you set up your social media for a fee. So as you see here, this is that website. Um, there is a contact us form available on that website uh, and this is this is after after i hit process to process this campaign for this website one thing i did was visit this website to see what it looked like and validate that the information that came back was was good 